guys, just wanted to do an introduction uh, to this channel. Um, our farm is Copper Creek Ranch and uh, we have bison. Um, just want to uh, introduce, introduce you guys to me, um, Brennan, and uh, with our family we farm about 120 um, cows with calves and we finish them to market as well. Um, we're strictly grass based on the cows and the feed feedlot we do finish on grain but we want to try to one day get markets of just grass fed animals. We've been in the bison industry since about uh, 1996 so about 20, 24 years of experience so um, yeah we're still learning though every day. Um, yeah, it's a journey. We, uh, we like the lifestyle. We like we like the animal. You know, it's a it's a, a great story of the bison. You know, they were almost extinct um, in the, in a couple hundred years ago, but they've been slowly brought back, and, and it's a great story. So we love the animal. You know, they're uh, a really easy animal to look after. Uh, they're self sufficient. We don't even look after them when they're calving. We let them just do their thing. And we just love the lifestyle. Uh, we love farming and, and we love being outdoors. So um, we hope you guys uh, like the content we give you and uh, bring to the table. And uh, and uh, just wanted you to follow along with us on our journey. And, uh, and if you ever ever uh, have any ideas for content or or things that you want to see or, or for us to show you, uh, just let us know in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. You can either follow us on uh, Facebook and, uh, of course, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any feedback or things you want to see, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll see what we can do. But uh, right now we're mostly just been feeding. Uh, we have our calves weaned and uh, just mostly feeding until the grass comes and then they'll go out on grass. But uh, mostly in the winter here, it's just kind of catch up on some maintenance of, of machinery and... Uh, and some things like that, but mostly just feeding the animals all once a week. And uh, yeah, but uh, until summer, it'll be quiet, but uh, we'll, we'll bring you along on everything we do. Hey guys, hopefully everyone's having a great day today. I know it's sure beautiful and sunny out there. Um, just with the tractor right now, we'll do a little bit of chores here. It looks like some of the heifers feed and some of the bulls as well is kind of uh, stuck up in the feeder. So we're just the tractor gonna push it down and uh, get, it at, get it down there so they can eat it a little bit better. Bacon's out on the gator, just checking things out, closing, closing gates for me. Brooks is helping her. Stay tuned. Get this feed pushed down for them a little better here so they can get at her. stuck in there. See what we can do here. There we got those bales pushed down there a bit better for them. We'll be able to get them a little easier now so they're trying to stretch up there. These are our heifers here. We'll be feeding them out and then uh, shipping them later in the summer. There's some nice heifers here. Here's the bulls. Let's go, uh, let's go check on their feeder too. It looks like there's some bales gonna cut up in there too. This is what happens is they, when we're loading them in the feeders, they sometimes stack them a little too high and then they get, they eat the bottom ones and then the top ones get stuck up there. So we've got to, I can come back later in the week and push them down. I might take some of these out and move them over to the other feeder. It looks like the other one's empty, so stick with us and uh, tag along. We got these two bales we pulled out of that feeder. We're just gonna go throw them in this other feeder. Looks like it's empty, a little bit of hay in it still, but uh, we'll put it in this feeder and then they'll have lots of room and they should be able to get at everything. Looks like we're going to have a little bit extra hay. We might not have to put out as many bills this weekend. Right. Well, 
like that now. Beautiful day out today. Blue skies, a little bit of windy, but uh, couldn't ask for a much better day. Nothing better than being out with the buffalo. I'll go check these calves out, like their bales are cut in the air too. Looks like one's in the air. Rick's, Rick's out there. After something. They should be able to get under there. Let's push this hay down, maybe too. There, they should be able to get at that now. Push this over here. Here's the calves. That one had a full bale on its back. I think he's still trying to get it off. They're so fluffy right now. You just want to go pet them. Hey, Rex, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see how close we can get before they run off. Rex. They're so curious. They don't know what to think. I'm curious. There's some big, big bulls in there. This guy. Go check this water here. Looks like it's a bit froze. Taking chopping it. Are you getting it chopped there? Been over at the mineral. Yeah. Give them a little more. A little bit of ice on here. Ooh. <laughs> Guess it'll be a mountain and then it's slippery for them to get up. And we put mineral over here in these little mineral troughs. Uh, they don't need it too much in the winter, but uh, summertime they really eat it. We find that our water um, from the well we have has lots of minerals in it. And, uh, they get it all from the water, so they don't really eat mineral a whole lot in the winter, but we give them this anyway, just to have free choice. This mineral is a Redmond uh, salt mineral, free free mineral, free choice. Um, especially designed for bison, has a little bit more selenium in it. But uh, that bison need, especially this time of year. Cows especially need this time of year for, uh, for their calves they're gonna be having soon, so. But yeah, in the summertime, they really, really lick it up good. Have a look at all of her feed back there, all her silage bales. Some calves out the distance there coming in. Can I push that in? Looks like she's almost got her cleaned out. So the cows were pretty well all out of feed here too. There's a bit on the ground, but uh, we're just going to put out a couple just to get them by till tomorrow or Sunday, whatever. We, whenever we want to come out and do some chores again. So, But uh, you know, that was probably 25 bales they eat 
it's in about five and a half days, so we might have to put out a bit more this, this weekend here. So, but yeah, we'll put out a couple more right now and get them by till then. Yeah, just took a drive out the back field here, uh, out of the way, away from the feed yard here, just to check out the cow or the cows that can come back in here and hide in the bush under the wind and stuff. And looks like there's a few back here hiding in the bush. Soaking up the sun today. I think there's quite a few hiding in the bush back there. It'll be another month probably, and there'll be lots of little babies on the ground, so they'll all be looking for a place to hide and go have their babies. Getting excited for that, so that's for sure. It'll be nice to see some some new some new life on the farm. Every every spring we look forward to them. It's definitely a nice time of the year. This cold seems to be hanging on longer than it usually does though. But uh, cross our fingers it warms up in the next couple weeks and gives us a nice warm weather to start the snow melts. Sure, how good you're going to see, but we're coming up on the whole kind of farm site here, chalk and stuff on the background, and corrals, and well, this is kind of the main corner here. So all the animals come up through the feed yard gate there, and there's a runway into the corrals over there. The cows can come out of the feed yard and up here, back into the bush, and hide, and do whatever they do. Calves here on the fence, probably looking for their old, for their moms, but. They usually go back and forth to the feed, feed to the fence and back again. There's some cows. Yeah, the, the cows can come all they're here. That's looking down the other one, runway right there into the corrals. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a view of things. Calves over there, 